Okay, so today we are going to do Flutter Bounty, uh, some Stack Overflow Bounty and with uh, Flutter. So um, it's been a rough day and uh, I just wanted to clear my mind and I was just looking at Stack Overflow and uh, yeah, you know, looking at Stack Overflow to clearing your mind. Anyways, um, I saw this interesting thing. Like it gives you repetition bounties and as you can see that I um in need for some stack overflow repetition i could just uh, start doing these things and let's see how to manage firebase authentication state in flutter i have a welcome screen which contains sign up and login and a home screen where i want to redirect after the user logs in to manage auth data i have created an auth dot dot it's static properties and methods so that I can, I, I can access them across all the pages with the same data. Okay, cool. Um, static final auth firebase auth dot instance and uh, okay, so logout is uh, auth dot sign out and login user takes an email password and uh, signs it with email and password and get current user just uh, gives auth dot current user cool uh, in main dot dart i am using stream builder to change the current screen based on changing auth data i got this stream builder code from this answer uh, let's see uh, I know this query is pretty old, but here's the answer if anybody is still looking for it. Firebase returns a stream of Firebase user, which solution one, I return a stream builder to my app's home page. Okay, anything. Um, so this guy wants to show welcome screen if he is signed out and home screen if he is not signed out. Cool and uh, he has a static class of sorts let's see some of the answers that are here uh, i'm adding this as a separate answer because it uses provider package instead of making your variables and methods static in auth class you should use provider or some other models i'm using bool variable in auth class to keep track of login you can modify the class according to your needs okay now you can see even when you're logging in from the login page which isn't a direct child of your consumer you can see it's builder and is still getting called when logging status changes however when you navigate to the login page you need to make a pop to get back to the previous page because the widget tree was displaying login page only in my previous example i was navigating to home screen but this one i am popping okay I'm not sure how you were doing it, so I added a minimal working code. I didn't make any changes to your auth class, although it's a good idea to use provider, but you can get things done with static method also. Okay, so um, my opinion, best way to manage Firebase authentication flood is to use the provider package. Your auth class is missing one important thing, which is the on auth state changed method okay um all of these answers uh, require someone to implement a very different class and uh, i am not in favor of it just to check that i am getting good audio which obviously at this moment i am not i'll just add a little bit gain to my filter so that uh, guys can hear me all right um, let's change it to eight or something and close it and i guess i am pretty um, um yeah i <laughs> yes um more clearly audible i hope so um let's see what we can do with this first of all i'll go to github.com and log in and we have uh, i have my shutter fire no, it's, is it here or is it in my GitLab account? Um, I think it's in my GitLab account because it might have my credentials in. 
also. So let's go to gitlab.com and let's sign in and this is the one CT flutter fire experiments and now I'll just clone this one and CD this desktop get clone I'm getting alerted by GitLab about the recent signing cool uh, yes I would uh, except this key I have SSH set up and whatnot I will uh, now open this in Android studio because I don't like the experience of the yes, code necessarily and um, I think instead of raising the volume, I just raise up, raise the gain a little bit more because when I'm testing, I'm at a very different volume, and when I am recording these audios, that volume is oh, very different. So, okay, so it's clipping now. So, 12 was maybe a bad decision. 10 is okay. 10 is okay. Yeah, 10 is okay. Um, I'm sorry for the gain adjusting file recording but uh, yes uh, we already had city flood fire experiments uh, i'll just check this out uh, it's the same repo and didn't get gone without any reason to mm. the next thing i'll do is to get fetch so that everything is in order and uh, think this is on a timestamp branch we do not want uh, to mess with it I'll just uh, check out master and uh, we'll see managing firebase out uh, I'll uh, name it simple firebase out because there's like one more uh, firebase auth uh, video that i'm wanting to do so we will name it simple firebase auth and check out this branch now as for get dependencies and all we have uh, all the plugins and everything so um for the test device, I will have my uh, I'll have my Android phone for the test device because I'm not using a Mac, I can't use my phone. Uh, we'll do an ADB connect and then I see our CPY and hopefully it will. an instance of SCR CPY just that's not the case which means phone must have been restarted uh, in that case I'll require the cable USB cable <coughs> cool now uh, that we have the USB cable we're just plugging the phone in and uh, Just disconnect the phone and an ADB connect and SCRC. I have the screen on my phone and uh, cool. Um, we 
we can put this on the top and something like this and where if I think we'll keep the upper workspace for the research stuff yeah cool now we're getting into this whole thing uh, we're going to compile the app real quick while also like you know coding very fast we'll start a new package call them screens uh, move screens to source okay factor whatever uh, screens may will add a dot file this would be the welcome screen we'll add another dot file uh, this will be the login sign up screen and uh, we will add another dot file that will be the home screen and uh, home screen will be easy to implement Start typing your code on this. These guys are running. This will just mess up your auto completion. By the way, this has been happening to me lately. Anyway, uh, I will just copy this home screen and close it. Let's visit home screen. Uh, child text uh, just it's a basic POC so home screen and reformat it uh, we'll just put this in a center so that uh, um, everything looks nice and clean and we're actually able to see this uh, for the login and sign up screen, we'll paste this and import this issue. Ma. Okay, now the home screen, the login screen, just like that, uh, instead of a container, we'll just wrap it in a column and have this container as it is. Just We remove this widget. Uh, 
and this takes care of the rest. Um, just uh, put a spacer on the top. Give it a flex of one maybe, and put another spacer. Give it a flex of two maybe, and then just uh, maybe uh, the raised button on pressed. Uh, login and uh, I think we don't need this and uh, <coughs> uh, why am I doing okay so we'll just remove this login sign up screen right and now we will do this something like login and this would be a synchronous code so this will be async and we're going to import five ways out If we have auth on pub spec, so we have functions and cloud firestore. We don't have five as well. So just quickly here, um, we'll use the Google sign in plugin, and uh, uh, that should be it. So Let's quickly switch to our research mode and pop dev once again uh, Google sign in and how do you want to implement Google sign in? Okay, no issues. Google, Google sign in, e email sign in, the same thing. So in Google sign in and uh, Firebase auth. Uh, and we just take this and uh, uh, versions and zero sixteen zero install this. And uh, this has happened to me a couple of times. I like reading the readme when implementing Firebase plugins, especially auth, Google signing, stuff like that, is. <coughs> very important is more important than anything i can tell you because um, i have done this um, 10 20 30 times in my life but still this thing keeps on changing so fastly that you have to so we have firebase auth and we're going to do Google sign in hmm. 4.5.1. Uh, so, quick review of the readme Android integration to access Google sign in, you'll need to make sure to register it done. You need to include the Google service JSON unless you are using, you need to enable auth APIs okay and oh this was already done ios i'm not using ios i have just this so initialize google sign in with the scopes you want i might not want that uh, any scope other than email and uh, um, as you know handle sign in and uh, that's it. Cool. So we will 
switch back to flutter and handle this Google okay we have to first get the pub spec dependencies and uh, cool main dot dot will make some changes to this instead of experiment screen we'll do welcome screen okay and uh, app bar firebase auth experiment simple now we will just uh, delete this one and we still have not implemented welcome screen so let us just implement that welcome screen thing and this is where the actual answer is uh, I have to remember the package flutter slash marketing dot dot package I wonder if this is because the flutter plugin is not installed plugins filter is installed mm. okay now that we have reached this point we will just do a state uh, so we do a stateless widget over here or a stateful widget so we'll try to do a stateful widgets uh, welcome screen and see there is no reason that I should be using provider over here but I should be uh, in my init state just to auth equals to firebase auth dot instance now what this instance thing is key this is not a asynchronous call right it's not returning a future let's go to the call so if we are in the firebase auth class and you will see that automatically this thing is uh, acting like a singleton because like we're not calling the from app constructor no we are uh, fetching this static final firebase auth instance and uh, that is like you know firebase app dot instance and then once again you go into firebase app dot instance you see there is a single turn over here because it's a static final thing so uh, making your own static class is i think uh, kind of redundant because uh, this package is already doing that for you Unless obviously you are handling multiple Firebase apps within a same, uh, you know, Flutter project, uh, then by all means, you know, use this Firebase auth dot from app constructor, and then provide the particular Firebase app, which means that you have to have three different Firebase apps for suppose uh, demo and uh, staging and production. You just have three different Firebase apps, and then you do this from app and everything. So that would be the uh, reason why you would use the from app constructor. But if you just uh, get the instance from the Firebase auto instance, you are getting that singleton by default. So writing your own static class, I think, is pretty redundant unless you want to do a separate sign up and get more user data or add the uh, give user some form. In that case, you need provider and all that stuff. But right now, uh, all you need to do is you know. Uh, here firebase hot dot instance that's it but uh, you know even then you don't even need this actually you just do this 
okay and uh, i'm showing this to you um, when you are returning container you could simply return a stream builder and uh, uh, for stream builder of type firebase auth user okay and the stream is firebase auth dot instance dot now you see there will be a stream of firebase user somewhere this is on auth state changed right so this will give you a firebase user every time the auth state changes now initial data we don't have any initial data builder we have a builder so builder will have a build context and an async snapshot of type that thing firebase user and it will return something like center for now okay we are going to make the decision making later let's format the code and leave it over here uh, or let's uh, finish this one now here we do this if the snap shot is no or not has data it is signed out so you won't get any user when you're signed out right and if the snapshot is uh, uh how do i say having data it is signed in show the home screen okay so here uh, you have snapshot dot data dot exists Okay, sorry. Dot has data. So if okay, snapshot dot if not snapshot dot has data data you know login screen and uh, else Firebase user user equals to um the Firebase user is equal to uh, snapshot dot data okay uh, then you return home screen. Okay, now this is where user dot is. So there is no uh, is signed out or anything because it cannot be. You know, um, if the user is not signed in, it will simply return null. So snapshot will not have data. and uh, i think uh, this will work if we do a login sign up screen
and login firebase auth dot uh, okay let's first import firebase auth and uh, dot instance dot um, sign in with credential let's just do this as a credential and we need to find auth credential first so google sign in credential auth credential federated credential so they have switched to the fed federated credential infrastructure so this this api is much more cleaner than what it used to be so we might be using federated credential today completely new for me uh, anyways uh, we're in five is what it is readme and uh, this is a google sign in example so Google sign in authentication auth credit okay so it's credential I just copy this and uh, okay, I'll just copy the whole thing and uh, back at this and this is how easy it is to implement Google sign in um just And that takes care of most of it. Except uh, this uh, Google sign in object, we need to figure out where we got that from. So, this is uh, your Google sign in. And once again, this was a Google sign in thing. And uh, we are done, maybe. Um, await. Auth. Final. Um, Firebase. Auth equal to firebase auth dot instance obviously because like this instance gives you that singleton which you want to sign into so there's no use of having a different I have to check this once more Mm. Yeah. we could just do this you know have it within the function and things will be fine and what's the query now local variable can't be Reference before it is declared. Okay, so this was my problem. Man, I'm getting old. Cool, this satisfied this demand. And uh, I think this will be enough. Um, let's Let's read on the code and see what happens. So, when initially I run the code, 
and the hot restart error which means I'll have to run the code again so we're into main dot dot and main dot dot has some welcome screen issues just import welcome screen and uh, run this code again cool so this is called welcome screen now the way I think about state management is okay, we're deciding between a bunch of uh, render objects. So yeah, why are you importing dot HTML over here? Cool, I'm fine with it now. Okay. So the way I think this works is that welcome screen is the, uh, you know, the responsibility of welcome screen to decide between whether it wants uh, the login screen or the home screen. So there is no navigation. It's a decision. So it's a decision maker, not a navigator actually. actually. So now if you are in home screen and you see instead of home screen I should be like I will try to print um, your the name of the user the display name of the user so for this what I'll do first let me check whether I uh, you know the firebase console or the uh, google sign in is enabled or not because that will also um, be one of the errors that will, that can hinder the functionality of the app. I think it's city flutter fire experiment. I also have this. This is running a simple debug. Now we go to quickly go to auth and uh, just check whether Google sign, is, sign in is enabled or not. So I'll go to auth and check between sign in methods. Every time I've, uh, you know, uh, so this is disabled and it will give me an error, obviously. Um, I have to give a project support email so that people can using the app can email me about their privacy queries and support etc so these are the different sign in providers even apple and microsoft have been included i don't know who uses yahoo but uh, There's this nice project about, uh, you know, making an FIP of your own. If you're interested, I'll make a video on that too. I think my videos are getting a little bit boring as of late. Mm. Still doing this thing. So I'll just stop and restart it because <laughs> Should not have been taking that much time you know so we are here city flutter fire experiments google sign in has been enabled and uh, let's see uh, how many users do we have no users for this project yet now you have let's program while the code is compiling so we go to the home screen and now here we have to fetch the data, right? So we will have to get uh, a future for the Firebase user. So we'll have a stateful widget and uh, just uh, have an init state and uh,
quick import of Firebase auth. And user equals Firebase auth dot instance dot get user something like user current user so since this is an await uh, we'll have to implement a get user method and make it an async function and uh, have something like uh, boolean for knowing whether it's loading or not and initially it is not so false so set state then do my stuff which is you know user equals to firebase auth dot instance dot current user and then just hit start loading false and then just delete this from init state and call the function and have a nice little conditional over here uh, you know container um, rapid uh, in a column okay so I'll put it over here If it's loading it's home screen loading user name else it is home screen and uh, then dollar um, user dot this print cool and uh, with this we will just do a hot restart and see what's going on on the phone so this is my login sign up screen this is my button I press on it there's Google account thing going on Google sign in is successful and immediately I am in my home screen uh, without any problem. Now I see how uh, you know awaiting for this future might be a problem. So what you could do instead of this is um, use a future builder instead. So future builder is another way of dealing with this but I see why you would uh, ideally like it to be provider cool so what I would do is this uh, what I would personally do for something like this is I would like to place my auth and most of the app is state in the way, by the way above the material app so that even if I navigate to a new screen I have that data with me so even if I were to implement provider it would be something like this now this was uh, the simplest way of doing this without using any additional package and having an async loader kind of thing happening so since it's an async loader so I'll show you the future builder approach so inside the home screen 
uh, instead of having an is loading and everything uh, it's completely bogus so I can delete this much line of code and even the init state and actually have it as a stateless widget so class home screen state everything firebase user everything you just delete this much and uh, stateful uh, instead of stateful just do stateless widget and uh, there's no is loading nothing and there's no user or display name um just delete this what happened like this and uh, create this reformat and school uh, we're already in the home page so we can you know uh, debug a bit <laughs> now we have a widget called future builder cool and instead of child we will be giving it few different parameters so we will just delete this cool now in future builder uh, add required arguments so this is the builder it gives us an async snapshot so this is a builder and this is a future okay so we have a future as well and in future we will just write firebase auth dot instance dot current user so this will give us a future of uh, firebase user so instead of dynamic I can simply put firebase user and this will not give me error now I have to return a widget okay so if builder future uh, let's see if we can give anything else initial data not needed uh, actually no it's okay um, uh, here we can give the uh, you know return text and uh, remember we are getting a firebase user so I have to um, write it like this home screen and snapshot dot data dot display cool now I also have to give one uh, you know condition for whether snapshot has data or not so if snapshot dot has data not then we return uh, I call this thing a linear progress indicator it comes in handy a lot of the time instead of a container let's uh, wrap this in a column oh, I'll just leave it at this so um, we have this loading username but no more so home screen Ravish otherwise if it is not there for the first thing there is, there's not a single chance that the name will not be here because in the home welcome screen itself we are making this decision that if user does not have uh, if snapshot does not have data I just return the login sign up screen now as you notice this user is still not uh, initialized or it is not used anywhere okay and the second thing is ki here we are having to call a future even though it would not have much impact on the performance because this uh, future is actually stored locally within the instance so it is not querying in internet or anything so even though this will not have any 
effect on the performance there is still another way where we can get around having to use this future builder in the home screen so let's uh, try to see the provider way of things okay so when using provider i always recommend to keep the provider above the material app or as you will see uh in the builder method of the material app so i don't think that approach is required for such a simple application so i will stop this video here and be satisfied with what i have and uh, that should be it because i have not used any other different uh, state management library and everything and i am personally satisfied that uh, using the widgets that are provided by the flutter framework the stream builder and uh, you know logging in uh just delete this one and uh, delete this line put it over here and uh, i think we're good to go uh, using stream builder and using uh, future builder so this is uh, the way to manage firebase authentication in uh, flutter and as you can see like even if you go back the app will simply quit because there is no uh, you know logging and sign up screen in the back stack because it was the decision made by the welcome screen so that welcome screen is actually deciding whether login and sign up screen or home screen are shown or not so the way i see this is that the welcome screen becomes logging and sign up screen or welcome screen becomes home screen depending upon what the value of this uh, you know snapshot is so this is a stateful widget right and actually this does not even need to be a stateful widget we can just delete all of this and uh, make it a stateless widget and things will work just fine because uh, uh the state is being handled by this builder widget now what this builder widget does is takes the value of this snapshot runs the function gets a widget tree and becomes the widget or gets injected into this build tree so this builder function is kind of a widget tree depending upon the snapshot and that very widget tree is either login sign up screen or home screen cool so there is no uh, chance of both of them existing right so i forgot to you know uh, show that example where so let's uh, restart this app and we will see that this is home screen jagdish shagarwal now i need to log out so obviously i will uh, wrap this in a column and uh, um then we'll have a spacer um mm. and it will go on the top and then we'll have a raise button uh on pressed will be firebase auth dot instance dot sign out cool and i'll just save this and this is here I pressed this and uh, app crashed let's just start the app again Let's see what happens
set running on slow performance mode or anything because right now i'm plugged in and this should not be the speed of cradle builds okay So first, we see home screen of each other. We sign out. We see logging and sign up screen. Once again, we sign up and sign in, and we see each other. Once again, we sign out. We see logging, sign up screen. Once again, we sign in, and we see home screen of each other. So this is working very flawless, right? And uh, signing in and signing out is like smooth as butter. And that is where I'll. Uh, Put this at rest, and this uh, whole thing can be found at uh, Firebase or sim experiment simple. I will use provider. I for every uh, project that I have ever done, there is a lot uh, involved than just Firebase or so. That is where I will use provider. <clears throat> i started with inherited widget initially but uh, since provider has a much uh, favorable api i will use provider at the same time for like this simple uh, use case i don't think any state management library is required that is a little bit overkill just uh, snap it on a future builder and a stream builder the firebase auth package maintains a single tool called instance within itself so writing static files is also very uh, redundant you just have to you know um, this is enough so this is where i'll stop the video and uh, you know start writing the stack overflow answer i hope i get the bounty because i want it and that's it see you and let me know if you want more bounties so i will solve more and more problems uh, we are going to do this uh, firebase auth experiment complex and there i'll show you how to implement sign up in which there's a true sign up flow you're entering user data you're entering more data and then you have to uh, fetch data back from the user document depending on the auth and then show different screens depending upon what is inside that user data and all of that will be using uh, the of doing three approaches one approach will be the flutter block library second approach will be like uh, pure uh, block plus provider and uh, i think th those are the two approach that will be used and we will also be using um flutter sit uh, stream inject trigger something that uh, i have made on my own but we'll see whether we get to use sit or not because i've heard flutter block is like really good and it has been gotten to the point where um, you know i can just ditch having to make my own state management library let's see if uh, flutter block is that good on in that video that's all for this one uh, let's uh, finish this off on stack overflow